Hello everyone. So as we already know, December is around the corner. Christmas is coming soon and all of us want to celebrate. We all do. We all do. You all have to admit it. Now this video is targeted at parents, specifically parents that have children who may be older and they want to come to Nigeria for December. This video is for you guys and I want to talk about tech products that you can buy for your children when they come abroad this december so that that way they can feel more comfortable kind of as if that they've never left their country like not entirely but you get my point now as a parent the first product that you should be investing in is a solar panel installing a solar panel in your house is a very good investment because you do not have to worry about nepa ever taking your light at all and waiting how many hours or where about the national grid collapsing every two business days and plus when your children come home they will not feel that like oh nepa takes them because in their house nepa will never take light because they have a solar panel in fact we have one in our house right now and it is really faring us very well because I've never had to worry about NEPA ever taking light. Like, I always forget that we have this solar panel. Like, to be very honest with you, it's been doing us really well. So this is our setup for the solar panel. These are the batteries. And then this is all this stuff. And this is by Felicity Solar. Like, y'all should really invest in having this type of setup in your house. And then we have solar panels on our roof currently. So, yeah. Just make sure that whoever you get to actually install this thing in your house is somebody who is competent enough and knows what they're doing when it comes to installation of solar panels. Now, the second product that you should be investing in is unlimited internet plans. Now, with an unlimited internet plan, you will not have to ever worry about your internet finishing until the month is over. Like your data will never finish until the month has elapsed. One internet plan that you can invest in is Starlink. So basically, we bought this Starlink router here for about 590,000 Naira on Jumia. And it's the cheaper place where you can buy a Starlink right now. If you want to buy one, link in the description below. We haven't set up this Starlink yet and currently, a monthly subscription for Starlink is going for about 159,000 Naira per month. And that is so expensive, like to be very honest with you. And it's because of the fact that, well, they're currently having some issues with the NCC when it comes to like their pricing and everything. So that's why that's the only plan that's available for now. So if you want to invest in the Starlink, then it's not a bad idea provided that you have the money for it. But if Starlink is too expensive for you, which it obviously is, and you know you can afford it, then you can always buy the Airtel 5G router. Based on my knowledge, I think it goes for about a hundred and something thousand Naira, but then you can always go to the Airtel office and contact them to know more about it. And from what I heard, their plans cost about like 40, 50, 60,000 Naira per month, and it's unlimited. So that is much cheaper and if you can afford that one then put it in your house now the third tech product that you should be investing in is buying a washing machine specifically a washing machine that has a built-in washer and dryer that's so that your children can have the convenience of washing their clothes in the house washing and drying without having to worry at all like if you can buy those types of washing machines then good and fine so this is a washing machine that my dad got so this is the lg roller jet and it can hold up to 18 kilograms of clothes so it has this like door that you can remove for the washer like if you want to wash clothes and all that stuff so then it also has a dryer too you just put it up here and then you see this is a dryer it just has styrofoam because the dryer has not been used at all even the machine hasn't been used at all so you just put your clothes inside here and then it will spin and dry your clothes for you but I would advise you to install things inside of your house and have somebody who can install pipes and everything so that that way, if you want to add water or drain the thing, you can easily do that. Now, the fourth product that I would say that you should invest in as parents are kitchen appliances, like for example, air fryers, blenders. You can buy those types of things, you know, all these barbecue grills or toaster ovens, microwaves invest in those things if you can even things like water dispensers or stuff like that if you can invest in them please do now the fifth thing that you should invest in is 
smart TVs. Now, as parents, you should look for smart TVs, particularly the ones that have Netflix and all the other streaming services that are popular built in. Now, if you're a parent, I would advise you do not invest in paying for a DSTV or GoTV or StarTime subscription, whatever you have. Do not invest in those subscriptions at all. Now, what is currently trending are the streaming services like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, and the likes. And it's best for you to invest in a product that already has these things built in. Now, my reason for saying this is simply because of the fact that DSTV and the likes lack content. Because the only content they show are old content. They keep on repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And even if you pay for the highest tier, of DSTV or whatever you're paying for, you still will not have the latest content. Now your children will really love using these smart TVs with the Netflix and everything built in because that's what they currently watch. I know of it. And it's cheaper to buy a Netflix subscription than DSTV's cheapest subscription because with a Netflix subscription, you have access to all the movies and everything that they have to offer. The latest content is there, things that everybody will watch. But with a DSTV subscription, you don't even have any of that stuff. Even if you pay for the most expensive subscription, you don't have anything that Netflix and all that stuff have. Okay, so this is a smart TV that we have in our house. My dad got this for about 350000 naira, And as you can see, it has Netflix built in, Prime Video, YouTube. And it has like so many streaming services here built in and more that you can even install. Like it has so many here. Like you will not get bored with this type of tv like it has so many things now if you're in the market for buying a smart tv i would advise you to buy from brands like hisense tcl samsung and the likes i would also advise you to avoid lg smart tvs because a lot of fake lg smart tvs are in circulation in the nigerian market so please avoid lg smart tvs as a whole and if you should buy a smart TV at all, make sure that you're buying from people who have a reputable history, people who have a lot of credibility on their hands. Don't just buy from anybody you see. Buy from people who have a good track record so that you do not get scammed. But supposing that you cannot afford a smart TV or you just don't want to buy one, you can invest in smart tv sticks like for example the fire tv stick the xiaomi tv stick and so on like they sell a lot of these tv sticks on jumia you can even buy a roku tv stick as well and put in your tv and finally the last thing that you should be investing in is all these car displays for your car like inside of it particularly now as parents i know that you probably want to give some of your cars to your children to drive around and everything like this is if you own cars that you want to give your children to drive now one thing that's currently trending in nigeria among car owners are all these car displays where now that they have like android built in and everything and then you can put things like spotify and so on instead of them and be playing music in the car and all that stuff like that because a lot of young people they love using Spotify and doing stuff within their car. So if you can find a mechanic who is specialized in installing these things inside of your car, let them do it. Someone who is special, who knows what they're doing. So that way you will not have to waste too much money in case they make a mistake. But however, if you do not want to invest in those car displays for some reason, you can always buy something affordable like this gadget right here. So I basically made a video about this device here. So I got it on Jumia for under 70,000 Naira. And with this device, you do not have to remove anything on your car. You just need to touch this thing to either the dashboard or the window of your car. And this thing has CarPlay and Android Auto built in. And you can use things like Spotify, Google Maps, and so on. So you can always watch my video where I showcase this device here and use it and show you how to use it as well. And if you want to get one, link in the description as well. Anyway, that is all for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. And these are things that you can buy for your children if they're coming back to Nigeria for December and you want to make them more comfortable. So um, I hope I see you guys next time. Goodbye.